Tipping means moving your feet and ankles to the side inside the boots in order to lift one side of the skis or boots off the surface. Here I roll the feet uphill on the board, lifting the downhill edges away from the carpet. In this clip, there is an indicator attached to the sole of my ski boot. This demonstrates more obviously the angle and amount of movement needed in skiing to achieve the expert level. Notice that when you are standing on the floor without any tipping, the indicator rod is level or parallel with the floor. When you stand on the board without any tipping, the rod looks angled to the carpet, but in reality it's still parallel to the floor. Merely standing across a slope is not the same as tipping your feet. The sad reality is that many skiers never tip beyond this angle when they ski. Any range of movement that goes beyond what you are currently using in your skiing will immediately make great improvements. That's why tipping the feet is one of the most important exercises in slant board training. In the second part of this segment, I demonstrate various ways to practice tipping on the slant board. Start by tipping one foot at a time, first to the little toe edge, followed by the big toe edge. This emphasizes the correct sequence of tipping. Tip, then tip more to see how far you can tip your feet. In this segment, we're only practicing tipping on edge or toward the top of the board. Tipping to release comes in the next segment. As with all slant board exercises, make sure you practice in both directions. Now get your poles. We're going to practice balancing on new edge angles. Here I exaggerate lifting and tipping. Lift to practice balance on the new stance ski. Tipping the free foot first is the correct sequence. After some practice, see if you can do the phantom move on the slant board. Lift the uphill foot, tip it to its little toe edge, and keep it lifted as the stance ski follows and rolls to its big toe edge. <laughs> 